I want to go over resizing images for both print and the web. This is a very easy process to do and I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process. So this is a native 12 meg or sorry, 22 megapixel file. You can see you could get in pretty tight. Looks good. Now I'm going to change it to what it would look like if it were a 10 megapixel file. So I believe 10 megapixel file is 3872 on the long end. And so this is what a 10 megapixel file would look like at 300 dpi. And it still looks pretty good. So 300 dpi is what you'd want if you're going to get it printed. So let's say you've got a 10 megapixel camera, you got your image, and you want it resized to 16 inches on the long end. So this will do about uh, 8 inch by 12 inch file, natively straight out of the camera but again you wanted 16. So I was always taught to go up inch by inch and just go step by step and you'll get the, the cleanest best looking files from doing this rather than just jumping right to 16 and pressing OK. So let's go to 14 you go down to the bottom here where it says bicubic automatic and you want to go down and choose bicubic smoother which is the best for enlargement press OK just keep repeating this process until you get to where you want to go and you can sort of get into a flow here and it happens really quick so go up to 16 so you got a 10 and a half by 16 inch file a cubic smoothener there you go simple as that now you're ready to go for print and it's the exact same process to go smaller. In fact, I'll show you that in just a little bit. So let's go back to the original. So now it's back to a 22 megapixel image. So this is way bigger um, of a file than you actually need to post on the web. If you're just doing Facebook or going on a photo sharing sites, this is absolute overkill. So same process, go back to image and uh, I am at 22 megapixels. Okay, so instead of focusing on inches like you want to for print, you want to focus on pixels. And you can change it to percentage or pixels, whatever you want. Typically for web, I usually resize at about 1000 pixels. And you want your resolution to be down to 72 dpi. Change your dpi first. Anything more than DPI is just overkill for web images. You want about 300 to 360, depending on the printer for print, roughly about 72 DPI for web images. So since this will be a reduction in image quality, you want bicubic sharpener. Press OK. And there you go. Perfect size for the web. Smaller file size. It'll upload fast. You still get a good amount of detail perfect. So next, I'm going to show you, I need to print this image in a horizontal fashion. Now this is going in a book that's all in landscape orientation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the crop mark and I'm going to press this right here to spin it around. I'll drag up to here, to the very top, very bottom. Now, the pages that this is going on is are going to be in a 4 by 3 ratio, and like I said, they're going to be landscape orientation. And they're going to be 11 by 14 inches, so I'm going to need to resize this. And you can see natively this is 16 by 20. So, same process as before, I'm going to take this down one at a time. I'm going to go down to bicubic sharpener for reduction. I'm just going to think about it, and there we go. And I'm just going to keep going down. Oh, I accidentally hit automatic on that one. Not a fan of automatic anything. So, for 
reduction. And this could get pretty tedious if you're taking a really big image and taking it down by quite a bit. But if you want the best results, this is the only way to do it. And we're almost there. So we'll do one more after this one. All right, so there I got 11 by 14. Now it's actually 11.2 by 14. Don't worry about the 0.2, it's not gonna make a difference. And go back to the sharpener, press okay. Now I'm ready for print. Now I don't have to worry about the transparent borders here. So when this goes in for print, the only part of the page that's gonna get printed is this part of the image right here. This stuff will just remain paper white and that's exactly what I want. So the image quality still remains very good. If you jump down too far by choosing automatic you could end up with some funky patterns on uh, on clothing. I've had it happen before where I, I uh, reduced the size dramatically in automatic mode and it left this horrible moire pattern onto the, the suit jacket of the person. I went back, did it step by step, and it printed out perfectly. So just keep that in mind when you're printing for the next time. Alright, I hope this helped and take care and I'll see you next time.